Welcome to Module 2, Create Basic Product Surfaces. We will use the patch command to create our first surface. So we'll start mainly work with surfaces and then later use the solid commands to work with solids. What I have now is basically this profile and this profile and this one. And the question is, how could I use those to skin connect this body? Let's take a look at loft. So if the loft command, first you want to turn off chain in our case. You can click on this one and say, well, from this back profile plus, make a loft to the tip. Okay, that's pretty nice. But then as a rail, maybe select this one. But you see this back area down here doesn't really follow it. Well, maybe we could say, well, as a secondary rail, maybe select this one and we get an arrow. And it's probably because this is just one curve and not two different curves. So it doesn't work very well. Okay, so what could maybe be a different approach? Well, the thing is we have this profile. We can press plus and say from here, make a loft maybe to this one. Now you see actually the surface blends nicely from that curve to that curve. And then let's go to rails, select this one as the rail. It has to flow through and there we are. So this is our first very basic surface. Pretty nice and we used the loft command. Now let's turn on the side view and maybe turn bodies off for the moment and we see well there's also the opening for the handle okay so I was talking also about try to always be effective with the way how you structure your design I created the basic surface command here so I can push the time marker a step backwards and then simply create another sketch here at the side okay Press S, select the spline command and say point from here to there to there. For example, for this lower arc, same from there to there, maybe to there. Okay. This defines, as you can see, these lower edges. And then one, two, three, and four. Click the OK button. Then we can zoom in and try to reposition those fit points till everything looks the way we want. The nice part about this blind command is it requires a little bit of work, but you can see you can get beautifully smooth curves with it. Perfect. Okay, we have to do the same also here. So click, try to match the same points and there click click OK and then also here I might have to rearrange those a little bit so I get kind of like the nice flow and layout I want okay maybe a little bit like this this has to go more to there this seems to want to go more down there and there Okay, perfect, good. So why did I actually do this? Well, this is going to be very useful for our uh, handle part because this outer sketch, this which I'm marking right now, we will use now to cut the surface we created and then between the cut surfaces and this profile, we will create another loft. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Stop sketch. Now we can go back and we can turn this off. Maybe this we want to call actually handle so it has a logical name. Let's show, for example, the body. Okay. The nice thing because 
handle is a plane that sits inside our body. We can now go to modify and trim and select for example this line. It's also closed and because it's on a two-dimensional sketch you can see that Fusion then understand the direction how you want to trim. So the magenta surface is basically the projected uh, trim area or surface. And now I can click inside and click inside. See those are red and then click OK. And now I have this big opening. Nice. OK, so I mentioned then we can use the loft command. Here in this case now we can keep chained on. I can click on this profile, then I can click on this profile, and then I can click on this profile. Because these are all individual profiles, the loft command also understands profile 1, 2, and 3. Otherwise, if it's difficult for the software to understand which lines are what profile, it's always good then to click plus so you make a new profile entry and then you can select the profiles inside your design. Perfect, good. So this is, this is nice, let's click OK. We can hide actually everything else or we do not need to see. And now we have a very basic model of kind of like the cloth iron and the handle area. The bottom and the back are open. We will tackle those in the next step. But what we can do now, because we actually have a very basic surface model, we can, for example, let's say turn on the sketches for the handle. And now we can try to see and move these points around and explore maybe the whole design. So from the side views and the top view, everything looked pretty good, but we can clearly see that the top area, the handle gets very, very flimsy. So before I do anything else, I might actually want to have to adjust a little bit those curves here. And Maybe a little bit down there, a little bit down there. And let's, let's see now from the top. Ah, you see now this gets a little bit better. And maybe we want to make the flow and the distance a little bit easier. Okay, yeah, maybe like this. Maybe this a little bit down there and there. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the side. Where are our interface elements? This one is there. So maybe I will put this to there so that this distance and this distance are a little bit more equal. So this actually goes back to also where I mentioned when you make those canvases for your side view, try to use those only as a reference, maybe as a target, but not something you really need to have to uh, to achieve because you notice I actually followed all these lines which made sense but then the 3D model actually turned out not really to be that suitable. And then because this is now a very basic surface model and we work with the, the loft trim and then loft command, we can then easily by manipulating some of these sketches quite quickly the complete flow of surfaces and proportions of our body.